Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC USA. I'm with my buddy Tom today at Ross Machine. Ross was started in 1986, and the very first machine they invested in was a Matt Sura. Tom came on board in 1994, and since 1986, they have recently invested in 21 Matt Sura machines, and we are standing in front of the latest and greatest and Tom is gonna to share with us why he went for the MAM 72 and how the benefits has helped him create success at Ross Machine. So Tom, thank you so much for being with MTD. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Uh, the 63V was a machine that we wanted the larger capacity. We had a six pallet 63V that we picked up in 2010. Uh, we recently sold that and then upgraded to the 18 pallets. The 18 pallets was definitely a machine that we wanted to add here at Ross. Uh, at the same time, we like having redundancy, so we took the 63V, bought two of them, so we have a backup to cover uh, our lights out manufacturing that we do here. Well, I'm walking around here, and, and you guys, if you ever get the chance, stop by, I mean, you guys are awesome, but I have the great privilege to walk around here and every machine is running constantly. I mean, the noise is everywhere. And you guys have 33 total machines, 21 Matt Sirs, but if I'm not mistaken, you have 15 to 18 employees actually on the floor running these machines. Yeah, early on, uh, we started running lean, uh, started getting higher cycle times with the machines. Uh, one person could run multiple machines. That started like late 90s. Uh, in the early 2000s, we started to get five pallet horizontals. Uh, the horizontals were, could run pretty much through the night. Uh, we started looking at the 15 hours that we were gone uh, in the evening. So then we went uh, recently, we started looking at how many hours in a week. So we went from how many hours just to get us through the night to how many hours we could get out of a whole week. Uh, now we're starting to trend towards a month to see how efficient we could be with these machines uh, during a whole month. Uh, that's, that's been interesting. So with the multi-pallets, we started going to 11-pallet horizontals, then getting into the five-axis, we started getting into 32-pallet, 35Vs, the 24-pallet, 42Vs. Uh, since then, I think everything's going to be 15 pallets or more when we buy a machine. And that's, yeah, that's probably started from 2010 when we got into the five axis world is when uh, we started to see the higher pallet pools. Something that I think is a pretty cool story, Tom, that you shared with me that I think we should convey to this audience because it's important to a lot of us. You said that you started when you were younger. We talked about 1994 and you know, some of your friends and family have been a part of this growth. And when you first started, there were three shifts. And as you grew, right, you reduced it. You're now down to one shift, and it's because your friends and family and colleagues and a lot of people in here, as you started to age, got wives and families, and you wanted to spend more free time, right? But you're still able to have that free time and produce the same amount of parts in a 24-hour time while only running one shift. That, to me, is an incredible story in itself. Yeah, so my uh, co-worker Keith, his father was a contractor, had his business. My father started this business and worked a lot of hours. So the family time, you know, was limited. When me and Keith got more involved with the company and the equipment that basically my father was not afraid to invest in the company and buy equipment that a lot of people would not necessarily invest in because it might be a little more expensive, uh, meaning the pallet pools. We were able to push the company in a direction we could spend more time with our families. So that's been a good part of it, that we don't have to kill ourselves with hours. Uh, we can still get the same amount of work done. Uh, we've, yeah, we, we've definitely had some fun with that. <laughs> well, you know, we have a lot of people out there who uh, there's this cliche statement about helicopter moms, right? Where they're always above their kids and 
but we also have that in the machining world where we're always over top of our machines. The Matt Sirs are incredibly precise machines where you don't have to be that helicopter mom or dad over right. top of the machine, right? You know that when you plop your first part in or your 100th part or your 500th part, you're gonna get that same precision from part one to part 500, which has really helped in that confidence of reducing shifts down as well, I can imagine. Yeah, we've, we've had jobs where we've had to hold uh, plus or minus two ten thousandths on a hole uh, for thousands of parts. And we've managed to do that with, through a little bit of processing, but also the machine itself uh, doesn't vary. Well, I know you guys do absolutely incredible work here. You're beyond busy, so I really appreciate you taking the time out to share this story. And I only have one more question for you before I let you go back to your, your regularly scheduled program. And that is a very simple one, is how do you keep up with all your chip bins, with all of these parts being made and constantly running through the night? So we have a chip compactor. It's basically a box compactor. I think it holds around 19,000 pounds. So the chips go out, we constantly get pushed to the point that we have to get it empty. So that's where we've gone. We used to do barrels. The barrels in the drip decks were a mess. So we had, yeah, it's a mess. Uh, stacking barrels, everything. So we got away from the barrels. Compactor is the way to go. Beautiful. Well, on behalf of MTD, and if I may, Matt, sir, as well, we wish you continued success. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time out to share your story with the world. All right, thank you.